I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports, and I've got all kinds of college football news. And one big piece of it is not good, and we will start with that one. Chris Solari of the Detroit Free Press says the Big Ten has already canceled its season. No games for Michigan, Michigan State in 2020. That He was citing sources on that. Big Ten expected to vote to cancel football season. That was four hours ago, three hours ago. He pinned that tweet. It's still up. So he's a reporter right there in Detroit. He's citing sources that the Big Ten has already canceled. Now, Donald Trump, President Trump, is fighting for the season. I'm a Michigan Wolverines fan. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, Yeah, I'm in Texas. Don't ask. I am a huge Wolverines fan. Jim Harbaugh, I'm also a Niners fan. So I'm partial to Jim Harbaugh. I am. I know a lot. I know he takes a lot of heat. It is what it is. That's a side note. Jim Harbaugh has come out. He's fighting for the football season right now. But the one thing we know that's happening out there is Democratic leadership and the left-leaning media are begging for football to end. It is unbelievable. We'll get a little bit more to that in just a second. Let's first talk about what uh, President Trump said and then what Jim Harbaugh said. President Trump joined the hashtag We Want to Play movement Monday, voicing his support for college football players, coaches, and fans around the country who are trying to persuade university presidents and conference commissioners to salvage the upcoming season, which is in doubt because of playing during the coronavirus scandemic. On Monday, Trump tweeted, The student athletes have been working too hard for their season to be canceled. Hashtag, we want to play. Trump retweeted a post from Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence, who has been outspoken about his desire to play. I know Justin Fields up at Ohio State also come out. Like a thousand players signed this uh, petition wanting to play college football this season. Quote, the president would very much like to see college football safely resume their sport. They worked their whole lives for this moment, and he'd like to see them live out their dreams. And that was from White House Press Secretary. Now, this is what Jim Harbaugh said. And Jim Harbaugh flat put some facts on it. I'd like to address the rumors that are swirling around today in a statement. I am not advocating for football. Not advocating for football this fall because of my passion or our players' desire to play, but because of the facts accumulated over the last eight weeks since our players returned to campus June 13th. Harbaugh's statement comes after commissioners of the Power Five conferences held an emergency meeting Sunday because of growing concerns among college officials that the upcoming fall season can't be played because of the coronavirus. In the statement, Harbaugh makes a case for the season could still go on safely, which includes a program having zero positive tests out of 353 administered. Major League Baseball could learn something from this bunch. Zero positive tests among coaches and staff over the entire eight weeks of testing. Following CDC guidelines and self-implementing stricter standards, for contract, uh, contact tracing and quarantining to prevent spread. We have developed a great prototype on how we can make this work and provide the opportunities to play. If you are transparent and follow the rules, this is how it can be done. Okay, so Jim Harbaugh flat told you. They laid it out. 353 tests, zero positive tests came back. And Michigan's implemented a program there that's kept everybody from getting the the thing, the virus, the pandemic, the scandemic, the Kung flu, the Chinese virus, the Wuhan virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. This is, I'm shocked that this has actually got this much steam. And their reports are actually coming out. I did not think the college football season would be canceled. I did not. 
I am the big college football guy on this channel. I love football. NFL, college. Um, I, I try to keep up with a lot of the news on this channel. I did last year. I'll try to do it this year. And uh, I'm floored by this. I will be floored, shocked, if the SEC and the ACC cancel their football season. Because I've seen where the ACC and the SEC has said, we're going to just play conference games. And there, make no mistake, there is a political element to this. Good God, if Michigan's governor gets involved, they'll never play football again. Because that bitch is out of her mind. She keep everybody locked down till next year. You've got pro football talks Mike Florio on his show every morning prefacing everything he says with people think I'm trying to get the season canceled. Shut up about it because you bring up every bad scenario known to man every day on Pro Football Talk on your show. Shut up, Mike Florio. You are part of the problem. Hell yes, you want to see the season canceled. That's exactly what you're doing. And it's the media driving this. Good God. And look... I love that Donald Trump got involved. I love that our president got involved. He's my boy. He's where my vote will go. But the media will now, it'll be even more of a frenzy to cancel the season. And people will be bitching because Trump actually made a comment about it. Well, with everything going on, he's talking about college football. College football is a massive money maker in this country. Two billion dollars. Think about all of the cities, towns that do not have pro sports or pro football teams that have college football. It is the lifeblood for some of these towns. This would be devastating to the economy of so many towns and cities across the country. Bars, restaurants, hotels. Could be devastating. Could be devastating. You know, there are places, I guess, where bars are open right now. I don't know. But the team's got to come in. They got to eat. They got to stay somewhere. This is unbelievable. It is unbelievable that the media has drove and fanned these coronavirus flames I'm in Texas. Look, once you guys agreed to let 60,000 assholes in the street, ass to ass, you lost a great deal of the country on the coronavirus. You did. Because you didn't stop that. You wasn't that concerned about it. The same news networks that are praising the protesting in the streets one and a half seconds later is counting down their corona death tally on the screen. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. I know I went off on a rant, but I'm, I'm floored that this is actually a thing. I can't believe it. I'm appalled by it. I blame the media on this. I really do. I blame the media. I cannot. I will be floored if... Alabama and LSU and Georgia and Florida and Tennessee, I will be floored. All of these SEC schools, I'll be floored if the SEC agrees to cancel its season. I'll be floored by it because last I heard, they intended to play if nobody else did. Hell, let the Pac-10 cancel their season. Pac-12, whatever they are. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.